Hello. When they hear the roar of British nationalism, they know the wrath of the British people awaits them. Those that have previously lined up to condemn us, those who remained silent knowing we were right, they will be the first to join us when they hear the roar of British nationalism. Trust me, there will be a lot that know that the game is up, it's over, the days are numbered of lying and cheating, all the corruption and everything else. They know their time is up. And when they hear the roar of British nationalism in communities up and down the country, they know the wrath of the British people awaits them. And these people, politicians, whoever they are, they will be the first to join us and to say how they believe we are right from day one but remain silent for whatever reason, right? Trust me, once the roar of British nationalism is heard loud and clear in this country, those who have previously lined up to condemn us will be the first to join us. No one knows what's around that corner. Do not write our people off. We are not beer belly gobshites like Nick Griffin said. The only beer belly gobshites I remember is you, right? You've abandoned us. But trust me, our time is now. And when we start winning economic, political and social power in communities all around Britain, the roar of British nationalism will be heard loud and clear. And those that have previously condemned us will be the first to join us because they know if they don't. The wrath of the British people awaits them. Our time is now, right? We're not all over. We're just starting. The fight begins now. And it starts in working class communities up and down Britain. We gain control in those areas. And once the roar of British nationalism is heard loud and clear, we're on our way to victory. Trust me, we are. Don't give up, don't give in. Our time is now. Okay, thank you.